So here we are at Surrey Sports Park on a cold and blustery January morning, bright and early. Here to meet Tamsin Greenway and Mark Garfort from Surrey Storm and find out just exactly what Storm have in store for the rest of the season. I think um, with anything we've just got to be looking at a top four finish and I think once you get into playoffs anything can happen um, but that's going to be tough you know when you look at the mix and the spread of where all the England players are heavily loaded with three other teams and with Celtic Dragons building up to a Commonwealth year you know I think it's going to be tighter than ever trying to make a top four this year. We are at our second ZNSL franchise, the Hertfordshire Mavericks. Um, so we're going to speak to a couple of players to see what the team has in store for the season ahead. What do you think you can bring as a sister duo <laughs> them to Mavs? Yeah, um, style and yeah, flair. Of... We've got the smiles, obviously. <laughs> yeah, definitely speed as well. Um, but hopefully we can keep that under control because that's probably our main thing. But yeah, as sisters, we definitely want to bring some flair and some speed. Like, I'm really excited. Um, our team's changed tremendously. Um, we've got players that have come back. Camilla Buchanan, our, um, who was our captain before, she's come back. And um, we've got some players from overseas. It's just a really exciting time for us, I think. Um, I think we're sort of aiming to catch the ones that have just took it from us the last couple of seasons. So the likes of Yorkshire Jets and Northumbria we really want to um, get them a few games out of the way at the start of the season and get some good win under our belts. I think we've worked hard, it's been fun as well. This pre-season tournament we had um, a couple of weeks ago was a good test for us. Obviously without all of our, all of our players and without actually our two main coaches here, uh, we still managed to get a couple of good performances and I feel better about us being a squad so um, I've got happy with the season so far. So it's day two of our ZNSL adventure and we're up bright and early at the Manchester INTC to speak to Manchester Thunder. About to have a chat with Debbie Hallis and Tracy Neville and some of the girls have actually just come off court from a ridiculously early morning session so we're going to have a chat with them if they're not too knackered. Um, there's always kind of a good vibe around Thunder. We we have um, a good kind of social side to it as well, so to try and include new people in that. And um, on court, it's looking good. So I think I think we'll be um, more competitive than we were last year, and hoping for an injury-free season. So we're here at Leeds for the fifth stop in our ZNSL adventure. Going to be speaking to Yorkshire Jets. Going to have a little word with Coach Carter and Nat Haythorthwaite to find out what they've got in store for the season ahead. Um, I think because there's so much change in the Super League season this year, I don't, you can't really say one certain team. I think every team's got different strengths um, in their own team as well as our team as well. But I think every, every game will be a challenge. So uh, I don't see one team as a big threat, but I, I like to see them all as different challenges. Lots of people have been shining in the squad. Um, I think it's really good that we've got our internationals coming over. Um, Kendra, our shooter, has been putting out some really good performances at the moment. And then the young ones coming up in the squad as well, they've all been putting out good performances. But there's so much variety and um, like diversity in our squad this season. Like You just you just don't know. Like Everyone's having a good game at the moment and playing really well. Done really well. We've had three pre-season tournaments. Um, we've done quite well in them. Competed against the teams that we've played. So we're looking forward to the start of the season. Bath, our first game, is going to be a, a massive challenge for us. But hopefully, we're going to go out there and compete and give them a game so everybody else for the rest of the season worries about Team Northumbria. So we're here at Newcastle Airport. It's ludicrously early in the morning, day three of our ZNSL adventure. We've had a great time so far and we're about to head over to Bristol to go see Team Bath. Big day ahead. I think we've got some unknowns this season. Um, as I said, we're all British, our squad, but a lot of the other um, teams have some imports. So I think that's just the unknown will be quite exciting to come up against. Um, I suppose that we've had, we have our own influences. We've had um, Stacey Francis has been out and played out in ANZ, so that's really exciting. Pam's played as well. She's um, been over to Surrey. We've, we've got all different, um, different influences coming in there. So I think that Although we don't have any imports, we still have a lot of a lot to offer in the, within the team. 
So we made it. We're here at our final destination on our ZNSL adventure. We're here at Sport Wales to talk to Celtic Dragons, our eighth Super League team, to see if they've got what it takes to make it to the finals again this season. Hard work, determination, um, commitment from all the girls. It's just a change in mentality last year, I think. You know, we weren't we weren't content with just being, you know, the little Welsh side going out there just just to play the game. We actually, you know, we we ran out and we wanted to win every single match we played. So is, this, is it the same plan this season? Absolutely, yeah. Organ's blazing now towards um, Commonwealth Games in the summer. I mean, every member of the squad, apart from Timmy, who's she's more or less Welsh, but we're we're all Welsh through and through. So we use we're using the Super League season, you know, to put our best performances out on the court week in week out, ready for ready for the summer then.